Thank you for choosing Kaspersky Lab products and support. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating exclusion rules for the anti-hacker component of Kaspersky Antivirus for Windows workstations. In the Administration console, expand the Policies menu, select Windows Workstation Protection Policy, and then Anti-Hacker. Browse to the Firewall Settings location. Click the Settings button. The Anti-Hacker Settings Exclusion Rules window appears with four different tabs. To control specific application behavior and the way Kaspersky Antivirus filters network traffic, select Rules for Application. A number of default rules will already appear. Let's create a new rule by clicking the Add button. Step 1 is to specify the path to the application. Wildcards are permitted. Once a path has been entered, click OK. The Edit Rules for the Specific Application window appears. From here, we can add specific behaviors such as Allow or Deny Network Activity for this application. Click the Add button and a new rule window appears. Specify a name and under the Properties selection you'll be faced with a number of choices. In this example, select Local Port. Under the Rules Description, click Local Port, enter the port. Specify the port number, click OK, and confirm a new rule that allows Local Port 4000 for this application has been created. Next, verify that an exclusion has been created under Rules for Applications. Similarly, we can create rules for specific packets. Packets can be allowed or denied based on different protocols. Also, local or remote ports, local or remote IP addresses, and specific time ranges can be allowed or blocked by Kaspersky Antivirus. In this example, we create an exclusion rule for local port 4001. We're allowing TCP inbound and outbound activity on the specified port. If we choose, we can even enter a time range that this rule is valid. Once we're satisfied, we click OK and a new rule to allow traffic on that port has been created. The third tab, Zones, allows administrators to set up subnets and specify whether they should be local, trusted, or internet, and whether stealth mode should apply. The fourth tab, the additional tab, is useful for gaming and other types of streaming activities. Once we've finished adjusting all anti-hacker settings, we'll apply the policy. This concludes our tutorial on creating anti-hacker exclusion rules through the Kaspersky Administration Kit. For additional support options, please contact Kaspersky Lab America's Corporate Support. You can access our knowledge base 24 hours a day, submit a web ticket, chat with a support engineer, or call our support center during normal hours of operation. Thank you for choosing Kaspersky Lab.